Hi everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday after Turkey Day. I can't believe Thanksgiving was last Thursday. Almost a week away. It was almost a week ago. Time flies. So yeah, I don't feel good today. What else is new? I just... I don't know, my stomach's been hurting for like a month. Not bad, but I can't explain it. There's just weird pressure down there, and it just feels weird. And so I have a colonoscopy scheduled for next week, but I'm just sick of this. I'm just so sick of being sick. Anyway. I don't think my statins had anything to do with me feeling crappy because I still feel crappy and I've been off them for like three weeks and anyway it's two o'clock I was I felt good this morning and I was, got off work and I got dressed and I was all ready to go to the grocery store because we have no food no food we have no food so I then I just started getting stomach pain and laid down and I haven't gotten up and that was an hour and a half ago but last night it totally snowed oh my gosh I had to shovel the driveway twice Daryl was on his way home from work and he it, he didn't get home for an, it took him an hour and a half to get home because traffic was so bad so during that time I shoveled the sidewalk or I shoveled the driveway and sidewalk and then an hour later I had to do it again because it was just coming down in buckets and it was like the wind was blowing and it was a blizzard and I was a mess. I was a wet snowy mess but it was fun. I liked it. First big snow of the year and first shovel of the year but I was just glad that I could get that done so that Daryl wouldn't have to do it. Anyway, I need to get up and do go to the store. I've got to. <sighs> um, I brought I have on my kitty shirt. I got this at Walmart. I had it in large and then I took it back and got extra large. Cause I like these things kind of big. And I like this. It's just a gray shirt. With a kitty on it. It looks like Momo. So. Anyway. I'm tired. And I have my boots on from last year that I got. Well, they're kind of sneaker boots. I don't know. But they've got this fur all the way throughout the whole inside of the shoe. So they're nice and... Excuse me, cozy. Ugh. Seriously, I've got to put makeup on. I mean, I don't have to, but if I don't, I'll go to the store looking like this, and people will be like, Are you okay? Look at the winter wonderland. Okay, let's go in. They've got their fresh cut Christmas trees out. They're so pretty. I want a fresh tree, but they die too fast. Okay, I'm out of the store already, but look at these fun trees. How cute. I like those kind, like on the end right there, those tall ones. All the ducks like to fly over into this lake. Every time it rains or snows, it turns into a lake. And then all the geese and ducks fly over and chill for a while. Anywho, it is 325. I think I was in there for like an hour. You know how you don't feel good and you have to go to the store or something like that and you just kind of wander around in a phase or a haze? Like a funk in a haze is called a phase. But, yeah, that's what 
that's what I was doing. And I was like, do I really want this? Should I get this? No. Oh crap, I forgot this. I had to go all the way back to the other end of the store. I'm just out of it. Anywho, it's 37 degrees. And it's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I just put all my stuff away. Um, it feels good. So I bought this at the grocery store. I'm going to put it on my table. I just wanted it to be more Christmassy in the kitchen. But, God, I, I should have, well, they didn't have one. But I think if I would have had, like, a red tablecloth, that would have been really cute and cheery in here. But I'm hoping the whole tablecloth looks like this. So I'm going to open it up and see because... I don't know, I just want a tablecloth on my table. All right, yeah, it's what I thought. It was blank on top, but it's still nice because you can still see all this on top too. So and I'll have my centerpiece in the middle. But yeah, I had a heck of a time taking it out. It got all stuck together and it's all wrinkly and scratched and stuff, which I did not do this. I don't know how that got there, but I don't feel like turning it around to go over there because it was just horrible. But look at this. Jeez. Okay. All done. That's good enough. It looks a little more cheery. Look what I have. I still have these. These are the apple, the dehydrated apples with the white chocolate and caramel and cinnamon. Oh yeah. I told you these will last me a long time. I've only had a few. Daryl saw these in the closet last night or in you know, the pantry and he's like, what are those white things? And I was telling him what they were and he's like, ew. Oh, they are so good. And they're easier to bite off because they're harder now. Mm. These are so good. I thought they were easier. I don't know why Daryl doesn't like these. Whatever, more for me. So we got some catalogs in the mail. I don't know why we got wine country because we've never ordered from them and we don't drink wine. <laughs> We've never had this before, but look, they have lots of yummy stuff, like these cookies and stuff. Look at that popcorn. Looks so good. And look, those pretzels look so good. How fun. Jeez, if I drank wine, think of all the fun I could have. Oh, here we go. Yum, yum. Ooh. Ooh, look at that dried fruit and nut thing. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Wow. I love Christmas time and all their little treats that they have. Godiva. Get those big fatty pretzels, holy crap. I like Godiva, but they're not the greatest. I like Hershey bars way better, and Godiva is so flippin' expensive, it's not even funny. Ooh, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, they have the best caramel candy chocolate apples. Ooh, look at all that. Look at that. Fun! So I'm going to do something unheard of. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. We're going to have enchiladas. So 
so what I have here is ground chicken. I'm just going to cook this up. Put my taco seasoning in, just a half a pack. And then make enchiladas out of it. I'm going to use these. I'm, I'm just going to make four. And I'm just going to bake them in this. I don't feel like washing a, a pan. <laughs> so I'm going to chuck it. Okay, it's all cooked. Now I'm just going to roll me some. Just do that. And these don't stay like this. They're going to crack. But that's okay. See, it's kind of cracking. crack a lack in right on the sides. I don't know if you even saw that because I didn't, I don't know what I'm filming when I can't see like that. All right. This is way too much meat for four. But neither one of us are going to eat more than two. And plus, I don't think any more else get in the pan. This is just a cake pan that I got, I think, probably at the Dollar Tree. Came two in a pack, I think. Pretty sure I got it at Dollar Tree, but it was just a it's just a cake pan. Alright, there's that. And now I'm gonna take my old El Paso enchilada sauce. This is mild. This is the easiest thing in the world to make. Just pour it on top. This is a lot of sauce for just four, but oh well. And I'm just going to put cheese on it and throw it in the oven. I'm just baking it at 350. I'll just tell it. Just for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And voila! That's all! I'm also going to make this Nors stuff. It's really good. I like it. And it's so good when you put it on your plate and then you put sour cream on it. Oh, so good. Almost ready. Daryl's not quite home yet. He gets onions and then I did lettuce and tomato and they even match the Christmas plates. I got these at Target several years ago and I think I got six or did I get eight? I got eight of them and then I got these matching glasses too. They're just plastic. Did I buy something? We have Christmas plates and Christmas napkins and Christmas drink. <laughs> it looks like my cat, or this cat's trying to eat. It looks like it's <laughs> on the table.
Hi everyone, welcome to the closet. I decorated. Um, I have to sit over here on an angle, otherwise you won't be able to see what I've done. <laughs> so I'll be sitting here all week, or I mean all month. But, yeah, these are the ones that my friend, friend Kathy gave me. I have my other ones in the box over there. I should hang those up and then wear them later. That way I can have lots of lights. So maybe I'll do that. But Daryl is in the worst mood ever. He is in such a bad mood that I just didn't feel right having a big, Hey everybody, welcome to the closet, come on in. I just want to stay low key. Just everything is sucking for him. Work really, 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 really sucks. He's under so much stress. And he is basically doing all the work for everybody and plus he's helping take care of my parents and he's taking care of me because I'm always sick now I don't know I just feel like a worthless, a worthless piece of crap I just, I don't know. But anyway, dinner was really good. I mean, plus he went to the dentist today. Like, yesterday he took a bunch of time off to take my stepdad to the doctor. I offered to take him, but Daryl's like, no, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. There's no sense in you going, just I'll stay. You stay home and I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm like, I can do it, I can do it. But he insisted on taking him, and the doctor was an hour late. An hour! And so Daryl had to miss his dentist appointment, which was after my stepdad's regular medical appointment. And so, and plus it snowed, and it took him an hour and a half to get home. And then today, he had to go back to the dentist because he couldn't go yesterday, and just, he's so stressed, you know, and now he has to take me to the doctor next week because I have to have a colonoscopy, and I mean, and he won't even be able to stay home with me after that. He has to go right back to work because he's just so busy, but I've had a colonoscopy before. It's no big deal. Like, when you're done, you're like, yeah. Let's go to the mall. It's no big deal. But, anyway, like I said, dinner was good. Um, ended up chucking an enchilada. We only each, like, had one and a half. We just, he wasn't even very hungry. He had a crown put on his tooth. He had the root canal a while back, and then he just barely got the crown today. So, he just wasn't very hungry, and... All right, well, I am going to take off. I have to take a shower, so I will see you soon, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful sleepy, and take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Are you okay?